there's gonna, you're going to be in there for about seven minutes. That means about 30 seconds to 40 seconds a person. So you have about 30 to 40 seconds each. They'll ask you a question, you'll answer the question. So if you're at the beginning of the line, you're probably going to be going first. Don't talk for five minutes or else you're going to mess everything up. I'll give you a two minute warning and then I'll come back and say that's time. <laughs> be concise and quick. You want one photo, preferably. Don't leave us like a giant clause or anything big, okay? Do you have any questions? You got oh girl! Oh. <laughs> I'm here in Portland, Oregon at the Biggest Loser Open Casting Call. I've been here for like 20 minutes and I'm soaked. I can't imagine what these people have gone through. Some of them got here at 7 a.m. and have been standing in line waiting to meet the casting directors. We're lucky enough that we got to speak with the casting directors and we got some really good tips and some useful information that we're ready to share with you out is motivation. Some people come in when they walk in the door you're seeing how they walk in and you're like wow do you really want this are you slumped down you're like whatever or you make an eye contact and going I need this show and I really need this for me and my family and you look at that and you go okay I see your motivation I see what you're trying to do and you look for people to go I'm I want to root for that girl I want to root for Amanda Amanda's so amazing and she's so rootable and I I fell in love with her and she's going to help me transform myself. You know, we want people who are charismatic, you know, who have good energy, who are dynamic type personalities. You know, okay. Maybe they're real funny, maybe they're, they have a great backstory. Uh, but for this, one thing they really have to have, a common theme, is they got to want it in a bad way because it's not a vacation over there on the ranch. Right. You bust your butt harder than you ever have before. So you got to have a big heart. And how do you decide what cities you're going to? You know what? We find out who has the most response. Like, uh, we actually found out that Portland had a tons of video submissions and tons of letters saying, why aren't you guys coming here? So we decided that's where we're going to go. And also, we look at see who's the heaviest cities. We found Mark and Jay coming out of Fenway Park with their kids. And... Um, uh, we told them you should be on the show. Also, Tara, of course, is another one of my favorites. She was at my table. She had that determination in the drive, and next thing you know, she won every single, uh, like every single competition on the show. She yeah. just was determined. I saw the fire in her eyes. How has your casting process changed since season one? Well, first off, if you went outside, which you probably did, we have a couple thousand people here. When we did season one. We were dying to get people through the door. I mean, literally, we had 12 people come to one cast call in Philadelphia. I think our biggest was 60 people wow. for a season. So I would have to go up to people on the street who looked overweight and say, hey, would you like to try out for this new weight loss? I mean, nobody had heard of Biggest Loser then. Right. Wasn't as much fun to say back then. Okay. Now you say you get cheers. Back then you get other things. <laughs> so A lot of people would like to see people who are struggling, just your average overweight American. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, if you want to lose 20 pounds, that's great. We want you to lose that weight too. If you want to lose 40 pounds, we want you to lose that weight too. Right. Just probably not going to do it on our show. You're going to be done in three weeks and exactly. be off. It's really not you know? that interesting. It's you not the idea. Oh. Right. We want to see a big change in people. So, you know, we're looking for to average at least 100, maybe 130 and up. I mean, okay. How do they have a better chance? Submitting on tape or just physically coming in? Have you noticed a pattern with that? They all work. I mean, no matter what, even if they submit the tape, they still would have to meet with us in person and okay. do on-camera interviews. So either way works. Some people do it all. Some people go to five open calls. It's probably not going to help you, to be honest. We've been turned down that many times. Maybe we're not what you're looking for. If uh, they want to be a, a TV star, it's not going to work. This is, we're trying to change lives here. We are standing in line, chomping on pizza here. <laughs> Who got this? Me. <laughs> she got it. Earlier I got coffee. She got pizza. So what, what is your guys' biggest motivation? Why are you here? My kids. Kids? My kids. My sister. Past. Okay. I want to be able to have kids. I'm only 26 years old, but I feel like I'm living in half my capacity, and I'm just so ready to make a difference. Okay. Yeah. Have you always struggled with your weight? Yes. <laughs> this is my grandmother. She died at age 55. Uh, she was 300 pounds. And um, I'll be 55 in September. And I want to break the cycle. I'm a single person. I want to use the knowledge that they have to teach me how to live and become a better person in life. You want to wear heels? Oh, yeah, high heels. That's great. You want to wear high heels? Yes. Being 24 years old and not having anything, not having children, not having the career that I want, not having, you know, being married and seeing all my friends have that. Um, who would you guys rather train with, Bob or Jillian? Bob. Jillian. Jillian. I think Jillian. No, no. Wait, Jillian. one at a time. Let's start over here. Who would you rather train with? Bob. 
I think Jillian, she's tougher. Jillian. Jillian. I like Bob though. Okay. Yeah. Either I'm or, but if I had to choose Bob. I need Jillian because she she pushed me. She would push me. I say Jillian, she says Bob, but Jillian reminds me of a little bulldog terrier. <laughs> Jillian would be harder, so I'm gonna have to say her. Whoever's the toughest. Okay. All right, we're here with Ken. Ken, what season were you on? I was in season three. Season three, and how much weight did you lose? On the show, I lost 161 total. Okay. Um, since I've been home, it's been 200 pounds that I've lost. Before the show, what was your calorie intake? <laughs> About 20,000, and I kid you not. <laughs> A day? A day. <laughs> Um, a lot of them are even still surprised to this day because they know what the fail rate of the show is. Right. 85 to 95% of the contestants have gained all their weight back. How many times did you apply for the show? Once. Once. <laughs> you made it. You're one of those lucky ones. I printed out the application, filled it out, and drove up the next morning. I got a call back that night as I'm sitting in line. So this gives you an idea of my caloric intake. I was sitting in line ordering two Big Macs, two large order of fries, a large milkshake, and then McFlurry, and 10-piece chicken McNugget with honey mustard sauce. And that I can't even was, eat a fourth of that. If you don't make it to the show, life does not end here. There are programs out there. I've even told people to go to Facebook to look me up if they live locally because I'm going to start a Saturday program to get people at least started on the right path. So we ended the interview and then we started talking. <laughs> and um, I told Ken here where, what we do, what Real Networks offers. And he said he could never go on that show. Well, I actually was on Big Brother. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> How did you but do? I didn't win, but I went crazy. So, yeah. but I just think it's so intriguing to me because you just going on a reality show itself is a lot to handle. I mean, you, you know, lose your mind. And everybody gets to see a side of you that uh, you normally hide. Right. You know, that you don't even know exists, really. True. So, you know, some people go, well, on the two hour show, you only see this much. Well, yeah, but they're filming all week long, and right. you understand that because yeah. you know how much footage is shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so you know what is used and what's what's not used, and what you give the camera is what they use. Yep. Almost yeah, there, though. Yeah, we're right almost to the door. It's and really it's a big quick. deal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to just panic when we get to the door. <laughs> 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 all right, well, thank you guys so much. Good luck. Thank Hopefully, you. We'll Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Good luck to you.